Hey, welcome to a new video. Jesus Christ is a historical figure who has influenced the course of history and continues to inspire billions of people today. Some individuals regard him as the son of God and believe in his miracles, crucifixion, and spiritual truths. Like many historical and religious figures, beliefs about Jesus vary widely depending on personal faith, cultural influences, and upbringing. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Here we see a photo of Jesus Christ claimed to have been taken using a device called a chronovisor. The chronovisor is said to be a time-viewing machine, created by an Italian Benedictine monk. According to the man who created it, the chronovisor could summon and display images from the past, allowing users to witness historical events, including the crucifixion of Jesus. While its existence remains unconfirmed, a 2002 book by Vatican priest father Francis Brun argues otherwise. According to him, the man maintained secrecy around the device until the early 1960s, when he entrusted it with the priest. He also revealed that a team of 12 scientists, including physicist Enrico Fermi and former Nazi scientist Werner von Braun, assisted in its construction. The chronovisor consisted of cathode rays, antennas, and metals capable of receiving signals of all wavelengths. It's said to have captured a moment of Jesus Christ before the crucifixion. Do you believe this? The Palate Stone is an archaeological artifact that provides evidence for the existence of Pontius Palate, the Roman governor of Judea during the time of Jesus Christ. The stone is a limestone block discovered in 1961 in the ancient city of Caesarea Maritima, the capital of the Roman province of Judea. The stone bears an inscription that identifies Pontius Pilate as the governor of Judea, a fact also mentioned in the Bible. This dedication also indicates that Pilate commissioned the construction of a temple in honor of Emperor Tiberius. The discovery offers concrete proof of Pilate's historical existence and confirms what is written in the Bible. The Palate Stone is the only known surviving artifact bearing the name of Pontius Palate, who was famous for ordering the crucifixion of Jesus. Today you can see the stone at the Israel Museum in Jerusalem, where it's preserved and protected for future generations. In January 2017, a remarkable photo surfaced, seemingly depicting a divine figure in the sky above the Pacific Island nation of Tonga, taken by a local resident on New Year's Day. With features resembling a head, body, and feet bathed in golden glow from the sun, the man interpreted it as a heavenly sign. Joey's niece shared that the family saw the figure as Jesus. Reflecting on the event, she reported that her uncle took two photos as the shape formed. In the first photo, the figure seemed less pronounced amidst the surrounding clouds, but in the next photo, the surrounding clouds disappeared, revealing the clear outline of figure. The Pool of Siloam is a significant site in the city of David in Jerusalem and is mentioned in the Bible. It's a large water reservoir located in the southern part of ancient Jerusalem. In the Bible, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, where it's described as the place where Jesus healed a blind man by anointing his eyes with mud and telling him to wash in the pool. The pool also served as a water source for the city's residents. It was destroyed by the Romans in 70 AD during the Siege of Jerusalem and remained hidden and forgotten for centuries. In 2004, it was rediscovered by archaeologists Ronnie Reich and Eli Shukran, who found the remains of the ancient pool near the city of David. The structure was 225 feet or 68.5 meters long and dates back to the Second Temple period, the same period in which Jesus lived. The discovery of the pool is seen as a milestone in biblical archaeology. Today, the pool is considered an important Christian site and is visited by many tourists. In April 2020, a small town in Colombia gained attention when locals reported a miraculous sighting days before Easter. Residents claimed to have seen the likeness of Jesus Christ on a tree trunk, an event that quickly drew many people to the site. The sighting was a beacon of hope and spiritual comfort for the community during a time of global crisis and uncertainty. The figure appeared during the COVID-19 pandemic and was visible on a ceiba tree, where the natural textures and patterns of the bark seemed to form an image of Jesus. Journalists captured the phenomenon and documented the crowds gathering to pray and take photos of the tree. Some viewed the event with skepticism, attributing it to pareidolia. Pareidolia is the human tendency to see patterns and familiar shapes in random objects. Others said it was a sign, stating that the sighting gave them an unmistakable sense of community and as well as hope for those who believed in Jesus. The James Ossere is a limestone bone box that measures approximately 19.5 inches, or 50 centimeters in length, 10 inches, or 25 centimeters in width, and 12 inches, or 30 centimeters in height. It's adorned with a rosette design on the sides and bears an Aramaic inscription that reads, James, son of Joseph, brother of Jesus. It's believed to date from the first century AD, the same period as the life of Jesus and his family. The James Ossuary is named after James, the brother of Jesus, who was a significant figure in the early Christian church. 
According to the New Testament, James played a key role in the church in Jerusalem and was ultimately martyred for his faith. This inscription, if authentic, would be considered the earliest written reference to Jesus. However, the authenticity of the inscription has been disputed since its discovery in 2002. Two prominent paleographers, André Lemaire of the Sorbonne and Ade Yadarni of the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, have authenticated the inscription. However, the Israel Antiquities Authority decided to have a group of scholars re-examine the inscription and say they will ultimately report their findings. In early 2021, an extraordinary event took place in Cali, Colombia, captivating the local community and sparking much discussion on social media. The man resembling Jesus Christ was seen sitting on wooden logs and conversing with a police officer. This mysterious figure with shoulder-length hair, a beard, and rope-like clothing politely requested water from this officer. After drinking, the man began praying, kneeling on the ground in a posture that struck many as deeply reverent. The man's prayer, which lasted for some time, evoked a powerful sense of peace among the onlookers. After the prayer, the man stood up and walked away. Witnesses reported that he seemed to vanish shortly after his departure, adding to the mystery and leading to widespread speculation. This sighting quickly became a subject of intense debate on social media, with interpretations ranging from miraculous divine intervention to inexplicable phenomenon. You're looking at one of the most controversial objects in history. The Shroud of Turin is a linen cloth that some people believe to be the burial shroud of Jesus Christ, bearing his image. The cloth has been subject of controversy and debate for centuries, with some advocating for its authenticity and others questioning its validity. The Shroud of Turin is said to have been discovered in the mid-14th century in the French town of Loray, and it's been preserved in the Italian city of Turin since 1578. The cloth measures approximately 13 feet or 4 meters in length, and 3 feet or 1 meters in width, and features the image of a man who appears to have been crucified. It's said the image was formed by the body coming into contact with the cloth. Advocates for the authenticity of the shroud claim that the image was formed by a miraculous imprint of Jesus' body as he lay in the tomb. They point out that the image resembles a negative, which would have been impossible for medieval forgers to create. They also believe that the bloodstains on the cloth correspond to wounds described in the Bible. In the early 1990s, a remarkable event occurred during a church service in Sofia, Bulgaria, attracting the attention of many and still intriguing to this day. Allegedly, during a service, an apparition resembling Jesus Christ was seen among the congregation and captured on video. Since that moment, it has led many believers to speculate on the nature of the apparition. Witnesses described a profound sense of peace associated with the figure, fueling this belief that they had experienced a divine manifestation. The video footage of the service has since been analyzed, with some interpreting it as evidence while others are questioning it. The Galili boat, also known as the Jesus boat, is an ancient fishing boat from the first century AD, discovered in 1986. It was found on the northwestern shore of the Sea of Galilee in Israel. The remains of the boat, measuring 27 feet or 8.2 meters in length and 7.5 feet or 2.3 meters in width, first appeared during a drought when the waters of the sea receded. Constructed from various types of wood, including cedar planks from Lebanon and trees typical of Galili, the boat was used for fishing purposes. The discovery is considered an extraordinary archaeological find and has attracted many Christian pilgrims, as it's associated with Jesus and his disciples. Kibbutz Genoser, a communal settlement in Israel, displays the carefully preserved Galili boat at the exact location of its discovery. According to various carbon dating tests and artifacts found nearby, the fishing boat was in use during the time of Jesus. Some even suggest that the boat might have been used by Jesus or his disciples, and it's also been linked to the famous story of Jesus calming the storm on the Sea of Galilee. In the remote hills in a place in Colombia, a remarkable event captured the attention of hundreds of pilgrims. It was after heavy rainfall and subsequent landslides in March 2015 that the face of Jesus emerged from the natural landscape. This extraordinary phenomenon spread like wildfire in the news, attracting more and more visitors to this area. If you look closely at the photo of Jesus in the landslide, you can clearly see the features and even his eyes. The influx of people to the area was so large that local authorities had to enlist the police to manage the growing crowds. A witness told the Colombian newspaper that seeing the face depends on your belief in Jesus. If you believe, you'll see it. As the news spread, social media became a platform for both entertainment and skepticism. Some found it difficult to accept that they were seeing divine faces in natural formations. They said that the human mind is designed to recognize faces and patterns, and that this capacity exists even when there's no pattern or face present. According to some, these two ancient crucifixion nails may have possibly been used in the crucifixion of Jesus. 
The crucifixion nails were discovered separately, with one found in the 1990s in Jerusalem and the other found in the 1970s. They've been the subject of much debate and speculation, with some experts suggesting they could have been used in a crucifixion, while others remain skeptical. But this wasn't the only instance of crucifixion nails being found. These two corroded Roman iron nails were found in an unmarked box, delivered to the University of Tel Aviv. It suggested that they came from the tomb of the Jewish high priest Caiaphas, who presided over Jesus' trial. What's interesting is that the crucifixion nails found in the tomb share the same chemical properties as the bone boxes there. They also contain a unique mold found only in that tomb. Furthermore, the crucifixion nails found in Jerusalem were discovered near a cemetery, believed to date back to the time of Jesus. In the remote countryside, a mysterious incident unfolded that would forever change the lives of two individuals. Upon discovering a cave with a black rock as a door, they decided to take a peek inside, and what they saw initially was deemed unbelievable. The events that transpired would shock both witnesses to their core. As the two individuals entered this cave, they saw a figure sitting on a bench that closely resembled Jesus Christ. For them, this moment was so intense that their initial instinct was to quickly retreat. Several moments later, curiosity overcame their fear, and they cautiously re-entered the cave, their eyes fixed on the figure that could possibly be Jesus Christ. The road to Amos is an important location in Christian tradition, where Jesus revealed himself to two disciples after his resurrection. However, the exact location of Amos has been a subject of debate among scholars and archaeologists. One possible location associated with Amos is Amos Nicopolis, which is located approximately 10 miles or 16 kilometers west of Jerusalem in Aelon, Canada Park. Amos Necropolis is believed to be the location mentioned in the Gospel of Luke. The disciples initially did not recognize Jesus, but during their journey, he explained the scriptures to them and revealed his identity when he broke bread with them. The identification of Imas Nicopolis as the biblical Imas is based on historical sources and archaeological evidence. Isubius, a 4th century Christian historian, referred to Nicopolis as the Bible Imas in his writings. Jerome, a theologian from the 5th century, also mentioned a church in Nicopolis where Jesus was with his disciples. Archaeological excavations and research have been conducted in the vicinity of Amos Nicopolis, providing further support for its identification as the biblical Amos. Discoveries such as Byzantine churches, inscriptions, ancient tombs, and a Roman bathhouse have also been found in the area. The small town near Buenos Aires, Argentina was left astonished when an incredible image of Jesus Christ appeared on a tree stump. This extraordinary phenomenon has drawn tourists in droves to the small town of General Las Heras in search of a blessing from what has become known as the Miracle Tree. The outline of a figure resembling Jesus is clearly visible on the stump of the tree. A resident named Pablo José Freres was fortunate enough to capture photos of the remarkable find. He described the image as strong and powerful, explaining that when you stand before the tree, you feel something deep inside you stir. Another local resident also took photos of the rare image and reported that countless believers have been drawn to the area to offer their prayers for the tree. This tree has since become a pilgrimage site and place of devotion for many. The New Testament Gospels, including the Book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, are considered significant sources of information. These texts hold both religious and historical value, and are studied by scholars for their historical reliability. The Gospels present various perspectives on life, crucifixion, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Each Gospel has its own style, emphasis, and intended audience. For example, the Gospel of Matthew emphasizes on Jesus' fulfillment of Old Testament prophecies and his role as the Messiah. The Gospel of Mark focuses on action and portrays Jesus as the suffering servant. The Gospel of Luke provides a detailed chronological account of Jesus' life, while the Gospel of John emphasizes the divinity of Jesus and his miracles. Scholars analyze various factors to assess the historical reliability of the Gospels, such as internal consistency, external confirmation, cultural and historical context, and the presence of eyewitness accounts. They've also compared the Gospels to other historical sources and archaeological findings to gain a better understanding of the events described. In 2019, amid the devastating flames consuming the historic Notre Dame Cathedral, something supernatural emerged. This sparked a flood of discussions when a woman from Scotland suggested she could discern the outline of Jesus Christ amidst the inferno. 
Notre Dame would be closed for at least five years as efforts were made to rebuild and restore the architectural masterpiece. According to believers, it's a sign that Jesus is visible amidst the sea of flames of one of the world's most famous churches. However, experts caution that the restoration could take up to 40 years, given the complexity of the task, including sourcing the necessary materials. The cathedral's roof was constructed from 3,000 ancient oak trees, a task that seemed daunting in modern Europe. Additionally, finding suitable replacements would prove to be a formidable undertaking, considering the age and the quality of original materials that were difficult to replicate. Reviving centuries-old craftsmanship would require skilled stonemasons and glazers to restore the cathedral's intricate masonry and medieval windows. However, the perception of Jesus in the flames of the Notre Dame fire sparked enduring speculation and spiritual reflection. Magdala is an archaeological site in Israel considered to be the birthplace of Mary Magdalene. It was a prosperous fishing village on the shores of the Sea of Galilee during the Hellenistic period. Its streets were paved with stones, and it had a first-century synagogue. However, the village fell into decline over the centuries due to religious and military conflicts. In 2009, a Catholic priest from Spain had a vision to establish a spiritual center on the site of the ancient Magdala. The area was excavated, leading to significant discoveries. One of the most notable findings was a first-century synagogue, one of the only seven synagogues from that period in Israel. The synagogue contained coins dating back to 5 to 63 AD, including a coin with an image of Jesus. Magdal is also known for its spectacular mosaics, which showcase the Greco-Roman influence of the region during the Herodian period. The excavation unearthed the Magdala Stone, a finely carved stone that purposely represents the earliest depiction of the Great Temple in Jerusalem. Magdala is recognized in the Christian text from the 6th century AD as the birthplace of Mary Magdalene. It's also mentioned in historical accounts from the 8th to 10th centuries AD, describing a church and house associated with Mary Magdalene in the village. In this video, an anonymous time traveler showcases exclusive, unedited footage of an event that forever altered the course of history. This news emerged in December 2023, and it purportedly depicts the resurrection of Jesus. The video accompanying this extraordinary story caused even more steadfast skeptics to question their long-held beliefs. At one point, a tense atmosphere began to build. The video footage commenced with the unknown time traveler standing before a cave, bearing a striking resemblance to the biblical site of Jesus Christ's burial. Strangely, no sound was recorded, prompting contemplation on what the time traveler's journey to ancient Jerusalem might have entailed. This video depicted the entrance to the cave, with a massive stone shifted aside, exactly as described in the scriptures. Carefully, the time traveler approached the entrance, meticulously capturing every detail with their handheld recording device. In a mesmerizing revelation frozen in time, the footage revealed a figure shrouded in burial cloths, unveiling the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Israeli archaeologists recently made an intriguing discovery, a 2,700-year-old seal engraved with the word Bethlehem. This ancient artifact is considered the oldest mention of Bethlehem outside of biblical texts. The seal was found in Jerusalem and provides compelling evidence that Bethlehem was not only a legendary biblical city, but also a prosperous trade center connected to Jerusalem. This sheds new light on the city's origins and confirms its existence as a bustling market town during the period of the first Jewish temple, hundreds of years before the birth of Jesus. The seal was a diameter of 0.6 inch or 1.5 centimeters. It's made of clay and was likely used to seal administrative tax documents. It was found alongside pottery from the same period, further confirming its age and authenticity. The inscription of the seal was written in ancient Hebrew script, adding to its historical value. This discovery is particularly remarkable because it represents the earliest known reference to Bethlehem. However, the significance of Bethlehem goes beyond its historical value. It's recognized as the birthplace of Jesus and holds deep religious meaning for Christians around the world. UNESCO recognizes the Church of the Nativity and the pilgrimage route in Bethlehem as a culturally and historically significant site related to the birth of Jesus. Despite skepticism, a man who recorded a video claims to have encountered Jesus in the flesh and even captured him on camera. This extraordinary incident unfolded in Argentina, where the individual was exploring a sparsely populated mountain. To his amazement, he stumbled upon a scene where Jesus Christ appeared amidst the trees, seemingly in prayer and surrounded by light. Clearly taken aback, the man began to pray and was nearly moved to tears as he recorded the surreal scene on video. After sharing the video online, it sparked a flood of reactions, with many questioning its authenticity. Some wondered if this was a genuine manifestation of Jesus or merely a fake video. The impact of the video was profound, prompting contemplation about the possibility of Jesus' return. However, amid this speculation, it's important to consider the historical evidence of the existence of Jesus. While some may doubt the reality of Jesus, historical texts and archaeological findings provide substantial evidence of his existence, leading to a broad consensus among scholars. In this specific case, do you think Jesus appeared in this remote location? Let me know in the comments. 
The Sudarium of Oviedo is a relic that some believe is associated with Jesus Christ and is considered evidence of his existence. It's a piece of cloth measuring approximately 84 by 53 centimeters and is claimed to have been used to cover and clean the face of Jesus after his crucifixion. Its history dates back to the 7th century, when it was brought from Palestine to Spain to protect it from destruction during an invasion. Since the 11th century, it's been preserved in the Cathedral of Oviedo. The stains on the cloth indicate that it was placed on the face of a crucified person whose body suffered from suffocation. The stains, a mixture of blood and fluid, contain pollen from regions such as Palestine, Oviedo, Toledo, North Africa, and Jerusalem. Both the Sidarium of Oviedo and the Shroud of Turin contain blood of the same type, AB. Furthermore, when comparing the stains to each other, there is a significant resemblance between the stains and the beard on the face. Quite interesting, isn't it? The Nazareth inscription is a marble tablet with a Greek inscription that was discovered in an unknown location and acquired by the National Library of Paris in 1925. However, the exact origin and date of the inscription are uncertain. The inscription itself dates back to the 1st century AD and is written in Greek. It's attributed to the Roman Emperor Claudius, who reigned from 41 to 54 AD. The inscription consists of 19 lines and refers to a Roman law related to the disturbance of graves and punishment for such acts. Since the text of the inscription is damaged, some parts are challenging to interpret. It's generally interpreted as an edict by Claudius warning against grave robbery and disturbance of burial sites. The connection between the Nazareth inscription and the existence of Nazareth is somewhat indirect. The name Nazareth does not appear in the inscription itself. Some scholars have suggested a possible link between the Nazareth inscription and the empty tomb of Jesus, as mentioned in the New Testament. The inscription implies a Roman response to the story of Jesus' resurrection, indicating that rumors of grave robbery were circulating at the time. Spectacular footage is surfaced allegedly depicting God walking through the air amidst a dazzling white glow, leaving viewers in awe. This was observed during an emerging storm with threatening gray clouds in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. A person on Facebook Live video documented the stormy conditions, addressing the camera and remarking the intensity of the weather. As she focuses on a radiant white spot on the horizon, she urges viewers to look at an opening in the sky. When she zooms in on the clouds, we see a figure resembling Jesus walking through the air. Initially unaware of the figure in the clouds, upon closer inspection, a number of viewers were able to discern it. The shadowy form seemingly moving amidst the white cloud cover was believed by several devout individuals to be God himself. Have you ever thought you would hear the voice of Jesus in your headphones? A group of Filipino Marian experts are commemorating Mama Mary's birthday in a captivating film on the ANC channel. The host, Fatima Baby Nabrita, who organized the Marian event in Battery Park, New York in 1999, leads the enlightening celebration. A priest named Dr. Gerard McGinnity, known for his role as a whistleblower in a scandal at the National Seminary of Maynooth, Ireland in 1984. Ordained in 1972, he held key positions at St. Patrick's College. With a doctorate in patristic theology, he has the unique experience of hearing the voice of Jesus during the consecration of the host. Representing a spiritual revelation, this is how Jesus' voice apparently sounded. Have a listen. This is my body, which will be given up for you. This captivating event explores the interplay between faith and revelation, inviting viewers to contemplate the implications of this encounter. Do you believe that this was truly the voice of Jesus? Or how else could this event be explained? Recently, a 1,000-year-old Bible was discovered in Turkey with an image of Jesus inside of it. The Bible was found in central Turkish city of Tokat in 2015 during an operation to prevent the smuggling of valuable artifacts out of the country. The Bible's origin is unknown, and its cover was damaged, but inside it contained photos made of gold leaf, portedly depicting Jesus Christ. In addition to the image of Jesus, the Bible also includes images said to represent Mary, the mother of Jesus, and a cross. The text inside the Bible is written in the ancient Assyrian language. This ancient language adds linguistic and historical value to the artifact, as it was widely used in various regions during the medieval period. The discovery of this ancient Bible sparked interest among scholars because it may provide valuable insights into the development of Christianity over the centuries. Within the Bible's pages, you can find faded images of golden illustrations, along with other finds such as jewelry and ancient coins. In a fleeting moment that would be etched forever in his memory, a man found himself in a situation where he saw Jesus in the window of a church building. As he walked past a building adorned with bars across the windows, he decided to pull out his phone camera. What he saw is a figure that, against all expectations, resonated with the unmistakable essence of Jesus Christ himself. This feature of this enigmatic figure remarkably matched the iconic image of Jesus Christ that has survived centuries of art and literature. The flowing hair of the figure had a hue resembling polished bronze. 
while his beard conveyed an impressive and timeless grace. And his facial features exuded warmth and compassion. But what fascinated the man even more was the posture of the figure, which seemed to be in prayer. And suddenly, he looked sideways, directly at the camera. The posture evoked a sense of mystery and prompted the viewer to contemplate their own faith in connection with the divine. The Pool of Bethesda is an archaeological site in Jerusalem, mentioned in the Gospel of John in the Bible. According to the biblical account, it was the place where Jesus performed a healing miracle. The pool is described as a pool with five colonnades and was believed to have healing powers. Archaeologists excavated the Pool of Bethesda in the late 19th century and discovered a rectangular pool with two basins separated by a wall. The excavation confirmed the existence of the pool with its unique features. The Pool of Bethesda is believed to have been a mikvah, a Jewish ritual bath used for purification. It suggested that people sought healing at the pool because the first person to step into the water was believed to be cured of their ailment. The location of the Pool of Bethesda has seen various additions and modifications over time, including the construction of chapels and churches. These additions were made to commemorate the site of Jesus' miracle and other significant events in his life. In this video, it's claimed that you can see Jesus Christ on the left side of the screen, just after the church building collapsed. Several people gathered to witness the tragic event, running to save what they could. From a religious standpoint, some may interpret the collapse of a church as a sign of a divine message. They may perceive the appearance of Jesus under such circumstances as a symbolic representation of his presence or intervention. This belief aligns with the idea that Jesus is actively involved in the world and communicates with humanity through various means including extraordinary events. There's also those who see the collapse of a church as a sign of the end times and the return of Jesus. Did you see Jesus emerge on the left side of the screen? And do you think it was actually him? Let me know in the comments. In November 2018, a remarkable discovery was made in an ancient Byzantine village. Archaeologists uncovered a previously unknown painting of the face of Jesus Christ in a Byzantine church, causing fascination among experts. Although this painting is fragmentary, researchers from the University of Hafia managed to distinguish the facial contours leading to a significant revelation. Estimated to date from the 6th century AD, the painting portrays Jesus as a youthful figure with short hair. This depiction aligns with the iconographic scheme of a short-haired Jesus, commonly found in Egypt and Syro-Palestine during that period. Remarkably, this representation deviates from later Byzantine art, enhancing the significance of this discovery. The painting hangs above a water basin in the church and likely depicts John the Baptist alongside a larger figure, suggesting it represents the baptism of Christ. Because the painting predates usual religious images used in the Orthodox Christian Church, it's considered an extremely important find. Ron Wyatt is a controversial American amateur archaeologist, and he claims to have discovered the Ark of the Covenant. Ron believed that the Ark was located beneath the crucifixion site of Jesus in the ancient city of Jerusalem. The Ark of the Covenant is a chest described in the Bible as containing two stone tablets with the Ten Commandments. Legends surrounding the Ark suggest that it possesses immense power and that viewing it can have serious consequences. Ron claims to have found it in 1982, and he believed that this event was prophesized. He also reported that while excavating in Jerusalem, he came across an underground chamber, and in that chamber, he found the Ark. He described the chamber as filled with debris and various materials from the first temple, covered with animal hides, boards, and stones. One particularly remarkable claim Ron made was that he found the blood of Jesus on the mercy seat of the Ark. The mercy seat is the lid of the Ark, representing the place of atonement and divine presence. He stated that he saw a dried black substance on the ceiling. He stated that he saw a dried black substance on the ceiling of the chamber directly above the Ark, which he believed could be the blood of Jesus. The next event took place in Indonesia, where local residents were blessed with an extraordinary moment of Jesus walking through the clouds. This occurred at the break of an ordinary morning, filling people with a sense of divinity. The cloud formation in this video bore a striking resemblance to Jesus Christ, captivating the hearts and minds of those who witnessed it. People eagerly emerged from their homes to witness this miraculous event firsthand. The video quickly made its way to Twitter, garnering thousands of views and reactions from devout individuals. As the radiant sun cast its light on the cloud in which we saw Jesus moving, the heavenly miracle became even more enchanting. This remarkable incident serves as a testimony to the idea that the presence of the divine can be discovered even in the wonders of nature. The ossuary of Caiaphas refers to the bone box believed to have belonged to Caiaphas. Caiaphas is a high priest mentioned in the New Testament and associated with the trial of Jesus. Israeli archaeologists discovered the family tomb of Caiaphas in an ancient cave near Jerusalem. The bones of the family were found in an ornate and intricately decorated ossuaries, a type of ceremonial box commonly used by Jews in the late first century. 
The ossuary in question was adorned with a rare and elaborate pattern of rosettes and bore an inscription that read Joseph, son of Caiaphas. The discovery of the ossuary provided archaeological evidence supporting the existence of this important figure from the New Testament. It also sheds light on the historical context in which Jesus lived and the events surrounding his trial. Some archaeologists have questioned whether these bones indeed belong to Caiaphas. What do you think? Could this have been the priest from the Bible? Here we see a photo of Jesus captured from an airplane window by an anonymous woman amidst a fierce electrical storm. As the plane shook violently, panic broke out among the passengers, fearing for their safety. At that moment, the woman and her friend turned to prayer, beseeching Jesus for his intervention, just as he had calmed the storm 2,000 years ago. Remarkably, the plane stabilized within just two minutes, alleviating the fear on those on board. Moved by a powerful prompting of the Holy Spirit, the woman felt compelled to press her camera against the window and take a photo. After developing the film, she eagerly received her photos. To her surprise, the person developing the film was astonished when he saw the photo and asked her where she had gotten it. In response, she explained that she had taken it from her airplane window during the electrical storm. The man then handed her the photo, which depicted a figure dressed in a white robe standing steadfastly amidst the stormy scene. This remarkable photo had an impact that extended beyond the woman's own experience. The man developing the photo, along with the entire family, was deeply moved by what they considered tangible evidence of the existence of Jesus Christ. A remarkable phenomenon has drawn crowds to an agricultural processing plant. News of Jesus appearing on a storage tank spread like wildfire, causing Ohio Route 12 between Finlay and Fistoria to be jammed for miles with curious onlookers, hoping to catch a glimpse. Among the spectators, a range of reactions had emerged, with some left in awe while others remained skeptical. Lois Reed, a resident of Fostoria, exclaimed that it seemed like Jesus was trying to tell them something. As the crowd gathered, individuals found places on the grass, their eyes fixed on a towering storage tank for soybean oil. Illuminated by yellowish floodlights, the tank revealed a figure reminiscent of Jesus Christ, clad in a robe with outstretched arms, accompanied by an image of a young child. Police issued warnings about potential towing of cars, but few heeded the warning or showed concern about the potential consequences. As dusk fell, an estimated 300 spectators had gathered outside this factory, forcing the police to remove vehicles from the side of Ohio Route 12. Witnesses stated that the appearance of Jesus Christ was only visible at sunset. Rita Ratchin, a Fastoria resident, shared that she initially spotted it on July 2nd, but hesitated to share her experience. After seeing it again a week later, she returned with a friend, seeking confirmation. The House of Peter in Capernaum is an ancient site believed to have belonged to the Apostle Peter, who was closely associated with Jesus. Capernaum, located on the northern sea of Galilee, was a significant city during the time of Jesus and served as a base for his ministry. The belief in the existence of the House of Peter in Capernaum is based on archaeological excavations and historical evidence. The site was first discovered in the late 19th century and has since been subject to various excavations. The remains of a house were found beneath the Byzantine-era church, and it's believed to be the house where Peter lived. The house itself contains several rooms built around a central courtyard and is constructed in the style of houses from the time of Jesus. Jesus. The walls of the house were made of basalt stones, which were commonly used in the region. Additionally, the site includes the ruins of a synagogue and other ancient structures. There's indications that Jesus stayed in Peter's house during his visits to Capernaum. In the New Testament, there's accounts of Jesus healing Peter's mother-in-law in her house in Capernaum. September 11, 2021 marked the 20th anniversary of the devastating attack on the Twin Towers in New York City. Throughout the day, millions solemnly commemorated this tragic event, with its chilling images and stories still touching many hearts worldwide. As a tribute to the victims, New York City honored them with a poignant installation, Tribute in Light. During this commemorative event, photographer Richard McCormick captured a remarkable photo that has since garnered attention. Of the many photos taken, only one has revealed a specific manifestation. Following the photo, several users expressed belief that it represents Jesus or has a supernatural nature. This interpretation has sparked discussions and contemplations among those who have seen the photo. The Talpia tomb is a rock-cut tomb, discovered during construction work in a neighborhood of the city of Jerusalem in 1980. It contains ossuaries with inscriptions such as Jesus, son of Joseph, and Mary Magdalene, which are associated with Jesus and his family. Some people believe that this is the official tomb of Jesus, although many archaeologists dispute the claim. An alternative proposed location for the burial site of Jesus is the Garden Tomb. This is a Christian pilgrimage site in Jerusalem, considered by some Protestants as the empty tomb from which Jesus of Nazareth rose. Some believe it to be the actual tomb mentioned in the Bible, while others see it as a symbolic site. 
However, there's yet another location that people think might be the resting place of Jesus. The Holy Sepulcher is a church traditionally believed to have been built on the site where Jesus was both crucified and buried, and resurrected. It's located in Jerusalem and is a significant pilgrimage destination for Christians. The church complex includes various areas, including the Stone of Anointing, the Holy Sepulchre itself, and the Chapel of the Angel. The exact location within the church complex that corresponds to the events of Jesus' burial and resurrection is a subject of debate among scholars. Every year on Orthodox Holy Saturday, a ceremony known as the Miracle of the Holy Fire takes place inside the church. According to tradition, a divine flame miraculously appears in the tomb, which is then shared among the gatherers, believed as a symbol of Jesus' resurrection. Do you believe in Jesus, and which discovery has surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.